So today I'm going to be talking about the most beautiful card I've ever seen in my life, and it's this one. It is, <laughs> maybe I should take it out. I'll take it out. So it's in a perfect sleeve right now. Karmatic Guide Foil. And you know I love karma, karma this, karma that, and I talk about it all the time. So I actually got this from a subscriber. I paid in cash, and there was like, it was a fair trade, I would say. It is gorgeous. So what is your favorite card, or what is, the, in your opinion, the most beautiful card you own? Um, out of all the cards I own, this one is currently my favorite card, and I just recently picked it up. I've always wanted one of these cards, uh, but it was so expensive. But then they had the Judge promo foil, and then it reduced the price a lot because the Judge promo foil was... In my opinion, this particular artwork is better, especially since like it comes from a set where foils were just done very differently. I mean, it is... Uh, Urzer Legacy. The foil was so different back then, and I've always wanted to own this card, and now I do. <laughs> so is there a card out there that you guys have always wanted to own? Um, honestly, I've owned uh, I've owned a Lotus before. I've owned it, owned a few pieces of power before. That doesn't really do very much. Like I don't really being able to get one of these in the wild and not paying from a store or whatever. A lot of these cards, and I'll go into detail about this later this week. A lot of times, like, I enjoy collecting. And when you collect, getting something from the wild, which means, like, you're not buying it from a store. Um, you're either, you know, trading for it or buying it from somebody uh, locally or something like that. It's just such an amazing feeling that once you go ahead and you find a card like this and you've been looking for it forever... Um, literally forever, but I just didn't want, I could always pay for the card and buy from like Channel Fireball or TCG Player, but that's not really what means like so much. Like I actually got this from a subscriber who went to Houston, who we met in Houston at a gas station, and I've always will have this card now, and it's been one of, I mean, it is one of my favorite cards. I will... The Beta Dragon Whelp is obviously my favorite card because it was the first card I kind of, it was the first pack I opened. And yeah, that card was incredible, but this card has been the most elusive card I've ever encountered. Um, there's been, I've only seen it one other time in the wild. And at that time, I didn't really want to trade into it because I had to trade a ton of... At that time, it was like over 100 bucks because the Judge promo hadn't been released yet and this was the only copy of it. This card, way better in person than I would ever imagine and to f be finally able to own it in this condition, it just makes me smile a lot because, wow, I mean, it is... <laughs> It's that one card that you've always wanted and you finally have it and you got it the right way. And I feel that's very important as a collector. I can tell you that's extremely important to me is when I, I'll show you guys later. Uh, I love collecting other foils too, but I don't want to buy them online. I can easily buy them online, but that's not fun for me. Like I want to find them in like somebody's trade binder or I don't know, a, a local game store or something. It's not like to rip people off. Like I would definitely tell you what the value of a card is. It's because it makes it that much more special. And this card is pretty special. I mean, one of my uh, subscribers sold it to me and I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> it's like this card. Uh, very, <laughs> very, very, wow. Very happy to have the card. Bye, guys.